The question of the day is, should I buy or should I lease? Unfortunately, there is no right answer. So if you're debating between leasing or buying a car, well then the answer is, it depends. And that's just always the worst answer. I don't really like hearing that myself. So instead of me telling you what to do, today I have a list of pros and cons for leasing and buying so that you have all the information you need to make an educated decision. So let's start with leasing. Some of the pros of leasing is that you'll have a lower monthly payment compared to if you were to buy that same car, which means that you can usually drive a nicer car, a car that you couldn't have afforded to buy. And because you trade in so frequently, you'll have the latest safety and technology features in your car and you get to experience that excitement, that rush of having a new car every few years. Another nice thing about leasing is that it remains under warranty. So whenever you take it in for service, those things are covered. Another pro is that you don't have to worry about selling or trading in. At the end of your contract, you just go back to the dealership and you drop off that car and that's it, hassle free. And then another pro is that it's a smaller down payment compared to the down payment that you need for buying a car. So what are some of the cons of leasing? Well, there's usually a mileage restriction and it's, it depends on the contract, but it's typically between nine to 12,000 miles per year. So that means that you need to have a really good estimate on how much you commute, you know, how many miles you put on a car on a monthly basis. So this may not work if you have a long commute to work every day. Another con is that you need to have really good credit. So unfortunately, if you don't have good credit, you may not qualify for this option. You're also required to return the car close to its original condition without excessive wear or tear or customization that can't come off easily. Now, of course, some wear and tear is to be expected, but you can be charged a fine if it's anything excessive. There's also a right share restriction. So if you're planning on being a Lyft or Uber driver, to make sure that that's okay with your leasing company and then be mindful of that mileage restriction that I just talked about. Then another thing to keep in mind if you want to go with the leasing option is that in most cases you have to purchase gap insurance, so that's another additional cost to you. And then you have to consistently keep up with the proper maintenance. So those are some of the things to keep in mind if you want to go with leasing. And this is great if you have that personality where you want something new every few years, but it also might not work if you have a long commute. So now let's move on to buying. So some of the pros of buying is that after you've paid off your loan, you don't have any more monthly payments. So you can continue to drive your car without any monthly payments. There's also no mileage restrictions. And since you own the car, you can do whatever you want. You can add customizations and you can drive it around as much as you want. Also, your credit doesn't have to be excellent. Now, if you have good credit, you'll get um, qualified for a low interest rate. So there's obviously a benefit to having good credit, but if your credit isn't up to par for one reason or another, you can still qualify for the buying option. And then you can also, sell or trade in your car at any time. And the money that you make from that sale, it can either go towards paying off your loan um, or you can use it towards a down payment on your next car because you're building up equity. And that's one of the biggest pros of buying a car. And like I mentioned, you can customize your car in any way that you like. Now, what are some of the cons of buying a car? Well, the payments can be more expensive than leasing a car of the same car. So that's something to keep in mind with your cash flow and budgeting. And then uh, banks and credit unions, they typically do require uh, down payment. So that's another thing to take a look at your financial situation and make sure that you can afford a down payment. And then the market value decreases significantly the second you drive it off the lot. So if you were to sell it or trade it in, you may not get as much as you had hoped for. And then one of the biggest cons is that there's also post warranty repairs, whereas with leasing, everything was covered. But after your warranty is up, then you're responsible for all the repairs and maintenance costs that come with it. So this is a good option for people that want to eventually be without a monthly payment for their car, and they're okay with having out of warranty repairs and costs unless you purchase some extended warranty, which is always an option too. 
And so those are some of the pros and cons for both buying and leasing. And really at the end of the day, it's your personal preference and your own financial situation as well to see which option best suits your own lifestyle. What are some of your favorite features of buying or leasing a car? I would love to hear. So let's connect on social media. As always, if you have any suggestions or comments, you know, let's connect. And don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.